Hall of Fame. Go play multiple plays, so I will. Bubba Brown and Tom Brown. Yep, that's it. Give me more than this, but. Just for this season, I'm just gonna play the moment. Until the next season, I'm just gonna play the. On the, the um, We're gonna make a basic. We're just gonna um, do what the court says. Two and four pendles for this. Three, three and two cents. Today. So possession belonging to the Carolina Panthers, and this is the very first drive of the game. A first down throw for Bridgewater. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. It's a gain of 20. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes him back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. from the gun. He'll hand this off. And good running. Going to get this down close to a first at the Saints 33. He's taken down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Nigel Brown. Turn this one. So here we go back to the action. Football in the red zone. And a big third down play coming up for this defense. Breeze to throw again. Pressure and he'll go down. Back at the 26 yard line. Derek Brown in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. Time to take you back into the ball game. It's a red zone alert as this defense faces a first and 10 in the final minute of the opening quarter. against the wall a little bit. Can they hold up? Third and short yardage, Bridgewater. That's caught by Hollister. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. To the air again with Bridgewater. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore. DJ Moore.
Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Bridgewater on third and two. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Then it'll be touched down here, but not before he... So here's the situation upcoming. Second quarter, third down, and this defense just trying to force the field goal attempt. And again, it's Bridgewater. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds... Signal for their third and final timeout. Joey Sly on now for the Panthers. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that will tie things up as we head toward halftime. have been hard to come by in this one and it's the third quarter defenses have reigned supreme can the defense reign supreme once more on third down let's find out now whistles come in we're going to get a timeout here by the offense it's just their first so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter well points have been hard to come by in this one and it's the third quarter Defenses have reigned supreme. Can the defense reign supreme once more on third down? Let's find out. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Bridgewater. We have a red zone situation brewing. This defense on their heels a little bit as they get set to defend a first and 10 with the ball at the 16. And brought in by the tight end Cook. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. That's good. Three's on the hook up to Thomas for the New Orleans first. First and goal. Well, they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Josh Hill. His first. Well, this one's getting good now. Fourth quarter, tie game. This defense looking for a huge third down stop. Bridgewater. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the... Now they try the right side here. They'll get to him just inside the 15-yard line. The running back. And even after that fancy footwork we saw, a good job defensively to recover. It's a game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. At the 13-yard line. And on the ground they go with the running back. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. And it's... Bridgewater from the gun on third down. Fight ball, and lost the football. Aaron Jordan. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back, but he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. And this one is right through. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. The 
This defense now desperate to protect their three-point lead. What can they do here? This might be the drive that decides it one way or the other. Throwing on first down is Breeze. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And here's a throw that's taken in by the tight end, Cook. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Eli Apple. There he goes, left side. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, Pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away. Taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for the Panthers, they fall a game under 500 now at three up and four down. Start your week by installing your game plan. Raiders versus the Buccaneers and Tom Brady. Tonight, from Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Week 7 of the NFL on EA Sports. at the Raiders 36. Oh my. This defense already looking at a deficit on the scoreboard, but now what can they design here to disrupt this third down play? And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 14. Play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. 
Throwing on second and 14. Brady, he gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Working from the gun, it's Brady. This will be caught just inside the 10. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders... So they just got the ball off the interception. Now can this offense take advantage? Great field position, first and 10 in the red zone. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. It's a loss of At the field, they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. So a we'll look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. They tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Darren Waller, his... Zone situation coming up. We'll see how this defense can respond to an impending first and goal. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. They'll look to run with Vaughn. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Keisha. Just above one minute remaining here in the second quarter. This offense looking to get down at least into field goal range, but they're starting on their own side of the field. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. To start the drive, but that one incomplete. He did a fine job there not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, time to perfectly and knock it free. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. A first and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. First down now, but that clock rolling. A short one here, secured by the tight end roller, and he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Car to throw again. And he's got his man in stride complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And, you know, he may not have the franchise tag, but I bet they're relieved to have that deal done, keep him around. And he's a good guy, a valuable player to them, and they wanted to make sure they had him around. Good team chemistry, always hard to find, and when you've got it, you don't want to let it get away. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it, and it took the ball off course. A 32-yard attempt. Carlson is good. And they're back with it a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. 17. So a big 
third down coming up here for the defense, trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. An effective seven yards. We've got an offense in the red zone, but facing a third down situation here. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. And that's why he spent a first round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Vita Tackle made that time by Vita Vea. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Now a handoff working right. And he'll take this into the end zone. And here, we do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. You gotta go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Another carry. Just a one yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Now Carr. Gonna throw deep for the end zone. Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. The kick by Carlson is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now at 17-13. So a big third down coming up here for the defense, trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. That's going to be caught. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs. This defense holding on to a slim three-point lead here in the fourth. They need to hold on and hopefully yield no more than a field goal. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. The Bucks on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Drops this one off to McCoy underneath. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. The key coming up here, preserve the lead for this defense. Fourth quarter, close game. Third down, here we go. Able to find water. That's complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs' 22-yard. Here's Carr. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A gain of six there on first. From the 17, here's second and four. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Got his connection complete to Rhodes. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. They stop short. Down at the one. Had the great move, but couldn't get it all the way home. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Second and goal from the one. And he's got one throw 
in the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. This defense now desperate to protect their three-point lead. What can they do here? This might be the drive that decides it one way or the other. Back to throw, Brady. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's Eric Harris who picks it. And his guys are going to get They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This a 43-yard attempt. Carlson able to put this one through. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So the picture becoming pretty clear here. The defense just looking for a stop because a touchdown, and they would trail on the scoreboard. They're hoping to preserve this slim one-score lead. Taken in here to start this drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. But it'll be second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Back to throw. Taken down. Maurice Hurst in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. The man has got it. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. this game they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end but they couldn't get it done however we were treated to really a spectacular affair even though they didn't finish it off you're exactly right they took us down to the last play we're still you're wondering could it happen possibly even though we both knew it was a long shot so for Las Vegas, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Cleveland Browns. Meanwhile, for the Buccaneers, they fall a game under the 500 mark at three and four through.